Hey everyone, I'm Jay Cohen, and today we're with our friends at Sunkiss Citrus to use up their beautiful Sunkiss Cara Cara oranges to make the ultimate vinaigrette that I'm then going to use three ways to make the easiest and kind of most satisfying lunch. So for anyone who is unaware about what a Cara Cara orange is, I'm just gonna show you. Are you ready? Look how gorgeous this color is. It's so vibrant and makes for excellent vinaigrettes. Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite one and then we're gonna use it three ways. So I'm going to take off the zest of this orange. I love to kind of save it. I don't need a ton for the amount of juice I'm gonna get, but for at least like one or two, I always like to get the zest before I juice them. You could also do this with all of your oranges and then freeze them. And that way you kind of have orange zest on demand, which is great for like stirring into cake batters. We are going to get some juice. I have my beautiful Sunkiss juicer and we are going to show you how gorgeous Cara Cara oranges kind of just release this truly, truly golden juice. That is how you get some juice. Look at how gorgeous that juice is. The truth is I only need three quarters of a cup of orange juice for this recipe. The rest is going to be for breakfast. Cheers. Oh my God, it's so good. I just feel rejuvenated. Um, it's bright, it's floral, the citrus, it's so sweet. You could just really tell like these are the best oranges ever. I love Cara Caras. Now that we have our juice, I'm gonna walk you through an easy, perfect vinaigrette. What are we gonna do with this vinaigrette? Well, first off, we're gonna make grain bowls. I'm gonna show you how to cook up quinoa perfectly. You can 100% swap in whatever grain you have. You can like, I don't know, make orzo, turn it into pasta salad, kind of whatever your heart desires. But what we're gonna do with it then is we're gonna use the vinaigrette to A, dress our grains, B, we're gonna use it as kind of like a pickling liquid for shallots to add a little bit of acidity and brightness. And then C, we're gonna use it as a marinade for our protein. And then we are going to cook it up, assemble it, and show you how beautiful uh, a lunch can be. Okay, let's chat dressing. So in a bowl, I'm going to get one tablespoon of mustard and two teaspoons of honey. I like to use Dijon, because it's nice and sharp. And then I'm going to stir in two teaspoons of orange zest. I'm going to grate in one garlic clove. This is gonna add a little bit of sharpness and bite and really help flavor everything it touches. One tablespoon of thyme leaves, switch to a whisk, and then I'm going to whisk this up with our orange juice. What the mustard and the honey is going to do is work as an emulsifier. So once we add in our oil and stream it in, it will help make a nice smooth vinaigrette. Of course, season with a nice big pinch of salt. All right, now I'm going to slowly stream in three quarters of a cup of olive oil. And this is what's going to make a smooth vinaigrette. I am, yes, using equal parts of Cara Cara orange juice and olive oil. The reason being is that Cara Cara orange juice is so sweet and delicious and kind of uh, not as powerful in acidity as like a lemon juice or a vinegar. So it really makes for a beautiful one-to-one -one vinaigrette. You wanna stream in slowly and constantly whisk and that's how you're going to get a smooth emulsion. Beautiful. Always give it a try. Oh wow. Oh, I didn't even expect it to be that good. Ooh, the Cara Cara orange juice is just so beautiful in this. It's super floral. The zest adds just a hint of bitterness, which is just like, it ties it all in together because it makes this vinaigrette like sweet, salty, sour, a little bit bigger, bitter. The mustard adds a tiny bit of that like umami savory note. This is like, Perfect. Oh, and the garlic adds a little bit of like kick, hint of spice in the back of your tongue. This is going to be the vessel for flavor in every part of our grain salad. Next up, I'm gonna get going on our pickled shallots. So I just have one medium shallot here. So we give these a thin slice. So we're really gonna be like marinating the shallots, but the acid from the orange juice is gonna help kind of 
pick on them bright pink, which I really love, and take off some of the harsh bite that they can have, so it'll kind of mellow out the flavors. Throw them into a little jar. I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of the vinaigrette. And I'm just gonna shake this up and put this on the side. I'm gonna shake it probably like every 10, 15 minutes while I make the rest of the dish. By the time it's done, they will be nice and marinated. Next up, we have our protein. I have two eight ounce fillets of salmon and I'm going to toss them in about a third of a cup of our Sunkiss Caracara vinaigrette. Just like so. Oop. We're gonna toss and let this sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes, just while we cook our quinoa. I have three cups of boiling water and I'm going to add in one and a half cups of quinoa. You want a two to one ratio of your quinoa to water. We are going to simmer this covered on low for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna take it off the heat and let it steam for another five. We'll fluff it with a fork and then we'll be ready to cook our protein. I'm trying to keep things simple. So in addition to our dressed quinoa, I'm gonna throw in two cups of baby kale. You could use spinach. You could use any greens you really have on hand, as well as a half a cup of pitted Kalamata olives that I'm gonna give a little rough chop to. You could use Catherine Latrana. You could omit and use a few tablespoons of capers. I just like something briny with um, sun-kissed caracara orange juice. I think the balance of sweet and briny and acidic is like really, really lovely, especially in a grain bowl. So now I'm gonna take a nonstick pan, I'm gonna cook up our salmon, and then we will dress and assemble. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Dried them well. Don't rinse the fillets, but just kind of pat off any of the vinaigrette, and I'm gonna season it up with salt, and then we're gonna put it skin side down into the pan. You wanna make sure there's a nice sizzle, and then you're gonna put it down skin side away. It's only gonna take a few minutes on each side. Let's take a look. Gorgeous. One nice medium. All right, let's assemble. Okay, I am going to add in all of my fluffy quinoa. Half a cup of chopped Kalamata olives, all of our marinated shallots, and two cups of baby kale. I'm just gonna toss all of this together. And then dress it up with the vinaigrette using our Sunkiss Caracara. I like it well dressed, um, but you can definitely reserve some for later. This makes plenty of dressing. The easiest grain bowl ever. It comes together so quickly. You can 100% kind of customize whatever protein you use this dressing as a marinade for. It would be great on um, just as much any fish as is chicken, whether that be breast or thighs, tofu, um, cauliflower, whatever you really want. Just seasoning with a little bit of salt. And that is it. All right, got our bowl. I'm going to serve up some of our quinoa. And this is something that will totally last if you wanna make it kind of in advance. It'll hold definitely until the next day. If you want it to last even longer, uh, swap out the baby kale with kind of adult kale like lacinato um, or even just green and it will have the hardiness to really last for honestly days. And finish it up with our salmon. Et voila. Finish it off with a few mint sprigs. You can definitely drizzle with olive oil. I'm gonna give it a little love with some flaky sea salt. And we are done. One last thing to do with this gorgeous quinoa bowl with salmon and a sun-kissed caracara vinaigrette is give it a try. This is gonna be my lunch today. Here we go. 
beautifully cooked salmon. This is the perfect lunch to have for like a nice little bit of sun and brightness. Even if you're stuck at home like myself, the fact is the Sunkiss Caracara oranges add that perfect floral sweetness to this vinaigrette that you taste not only in the quinoa, but it penetrates through the salmon and the pickling on those shallots add the perfect little bite to tie it all together. Super obsessed with this dish. If you want the recipe, you can head to thefeedfeed.com. Huge thank you to Sunkiss Citrus for supplying us with some gorgeous Caracara oranges. I'll see you next time.